Prison guards, what is the most extreme thing you ever saw? Not me but my mom is a prison nurse. She once had a dude swallow a balloon filled with drugs, and it popped or leaked in his stomach and he overdosed. Between fights, suicides, attempted suicides etc. A worse one that got me was I cut down a hanger. He went into fight mode swinging at us. We got him to the ground and handcuffed him and pinned him on the floor. He started to cry begging us to kill him as we tried to keep him from banging his head on the floor. That was my first hanging and stuck with me ever since. I did a bit in Florida about 4 years ago. While I was inside, they let my cell block come into the common area to watch the iHeartRadio awards. Never would have watched it on my own, but it was nice to have the distraction. This was the summer that Ariana Grande had that one less problem song, and she performed it right before JLo came to the stage. Now, I'm in with mostly Puerto Rican inmates, so JLo being on was a big goddamn deal. Some dude just loses his shit during the Ariana Grande song. Some of the dudes said he was into little girls or something and throws a very lightweight plastic chair at the TV. Didn't think it would do much damage, but it busted the LCD. Hell. Broke. Loose. Dudes weren't gonna get a chance to see JLo's ass, and they wanted blood for it. I ran my gringo behind back to my cell, and a 60-man brawl ensued. All of this to say, in the midst of the insanity, one guy bit another guy's thumb off. And swallowed it. I have a family member who worked as staff, not a guard, at a state prison in California. Their job required them to work inside the prison. This was in 2010. There was another staffer who worked there, we'll call her Samantha. Samantha was an attractive 30-year-old who was happily married and had two kids. She was generally well-liked and nobody thought her behavior was strange or different. One day the prison started having a major issue with cell phones being smuggled in. Lots of cell phones. The prison launched a huge investigation complete with shakedown, squeezing troublemaker inmates, the whole nine yards. In one of the sweeps they found a love note between one of the inmates and Samantha. For anybody who doesn't know, prison guards and staff are absolutely prohibited from many intimate relationships with inmates. It's a serious crime that is prosecuted on a frighteningly regular basis. Turns out Samantha was not only having intimate relationships with the inmate who had the letter, but also with six other inmates. So, she was ducking and exchanging long love letters with a total of seven inmates simultaneously. One of the inmates had convinced her to smuggle in cell phones through the dry cleaning inmate work program. They estimate she smuggled in at least 50 phones this way. One of the other inmates she was involved with had been having his drug dealing proceeds from the street deposited into her personal savings account on the outside so they had money to run away together when the inmate got out. The inmate was serving a 17-year prison term. When this was discovered there was major fallout for the staff and inmates at the prison. Security was tightened considerably, the dry cleaning work program was suspended and Samantha was arrested and eventually sentenced to just over three years in prison. The craziest thing about the whole situation? Samantha's husband stayed with her. She got out of prison several years ago and they are a seemingly happy family once again. My husband is a guard. I'm not going to be able to tell this as well as he could but you'll get the point. He was doing count one night and there was an inmate that was bleeding so they went in to see what was happening. The inmate had bitten the inside of his wrist and forearm and pulled the skin off down to the muscle and tendons. He was also chewing on something and when he was told to spit it out he did and it was a chunk of his flesh. He then immediately ripped off another piece with his teeth and according to my husband slurped it up like spaghetti. They rushed him to medical and he ended up having to be in the psych building after he recovered. Via my father, one prisoner was trying to kill his cellmate, but didn't have a weapon. So he took a pen, stuck it in the guy's ear and stomped on it. It came out of the victim's mouth. I was working in the X house, my prison had three areas, general population, STC for somewhat mentally unstable IMs, and the X house, shaped like an X, for seriously mentally ill guys that would throw poop, cut themselves, etc. I was on the seg wing, even though most cells in the X house were like seg anyway, this area had another officer to watch it specifically. So I was called over to watch a guy who had been placed on continuous suicide watch. He was completely naked with nothing else in his cell. And I have to stand just outside the door and watch him. So he's trying to do everything to get a reaction out of me, but I'm stone face Phillips, documenting every five minutes what he's doing. He climbs up on the bed, takes his dong in one hand and starts stroking. He takes a finger from his other hand and wets it in his mouth. 
The now wet finger goes behind him, right into his ass. And then he starts yelling my last name. Then after he's done doing that, he was walks up to the door, these are steel doors with just a window for seeing into the cell. We're basically face to face with this window between us. Just below the window is a chuck hole, which is a tiny door for passing food trays through. Thankfully it was closed, because I looked down at the chuck hole and see yellow liquid coming out from the sides of it. I took a few steps back and continued my watch. I wasn't gonna let him get a reaction out of me. Currently a CO. I work in one of the reformed mental health facilities for my state. Basically we're a prison with a strong focus on mental health rehabilitation. We deal with some of the state's finest, worst, cases. I've seen a man with a literal hole in his body from his chest to below his belly button. He put it there. It started after he ripped his intestines out and bit through them. He then proceeded to enlarge the hole slowly over time. Longest four-point restrained inmate in the state's history. Also seen a guy shove a four-feet headphone extension cord through his dung and into his bladder not once, not twice, but five times now. He's also gouged his eye out. I have many stories, and many about this particular prisoner but one stands out to me the most. Doing a count one day, every day stuff, and it involves looking through trap windows to make sure everyone is present and breathing. Get to this prisoner's cell, let's call him Prisoner X. Now this prisoner has a long history of abuse from his childhood. As a result he is an absolutely chronic masturbator. The amount of times I've had to have conversations with him while he is going to town on his ham bone are innumerable. Anyway, doing a count with a female officer, she looks through the trap and immediately recoils. Now all I can hear is a loud buzzing sound and the sounds of furious masturbation. I decide to check the trap against the warnings of my offsider. Should have listened. Turns out he was using the unit's hair clippers. But he had them wrapped in a glove, turned on and shoved squarely up his arse. All I could see was the cord plugged into the wall leading into his loudly buzzing anus and him giving his old feller the exercise of its life. One of my former teachers used to provide mental health services in the county jail. She said the worst thing she saw was an inmate who went insane. He was quiet and polite, and doing a small amount of time for a minor crime. But then, he got in one small fight and was moved to max, and something in him snapped. He decompensated so quickly that by day four, he was smearing feces on the wall and singing nursery rhymes. He was taken away to a psych ward. Not a guard but a prison nurse. Had to respond to a cell fight where one man bit off another man's nose. The most extreme one I heard though was from a doctor I worked with. My first patient ate her own eyeball. I have a friend who's a prison guard. Just the other day he was telling me about an inmate who called over one of the guards and held out his hand holding something in his fist. Not really thinking anything the guard holds his hand out and the inmate drops what he was holding into the guard's hand. As he starts walking away the guard looks in his hand and sees the inmate's testicles. Then a few weeks later the same inmate cut off his penis. Back when I worked. Guy disemboweled himself essentially to get a demon out, he lived, not sure about the demon. His intestines were out of his body and he was ghost white from blood loss. Guy was putting nails or screws up his urethra. Chick hid a can lid in her special kangaroo pouch and pulled it out to try to cut herself after an adverse hearing result. Working in the ER we had a prisoner come in unconscious and covered in blood. We got him cleaned up and counted at least 12 stab wounds to his head and face. They were shallow but the force caused the wounds to look like ashes so stitches or staples were out of the question. He had even more wounds on his arms from trying to cover his head during the attack. We couldn't save one of his ears and he was still unconscious when I clocked out. Not a prison guard but I work in a psych hospital. Worst thing I saw was a man fingering his stoma in his stomach so hard it was bleeding. He was repeating duck me in the pussy as he fingered it. Couldn't get that shit out of my head for a few days. As I was trying to pull his hand out of his intestines he was looking deep into my eyes and begging me to duck it. That guy was a mess. One inmate had a court date so left for the day. Apparently during his day out he managed to acquire a loose screw. Not big or anything, he found it on the floor of the transport van. Anyway once back in his cell he decides to use the screw to drill a hole in the plexiglass window of his door. Mind you the doors are a layer of plexiglass and then steel grating. He drills two holes one at the top and one at the bottom of about a two feet tall window. He does this between CO patrols. 
They are supposed to do a walk around every 15 minutes the inmate then proceeds to tear his bedding and revel it into a string which he feeds through the upper hole and back down through the lower hole. Using the friction of the bedding he literally saws a giant hole in the plexiglass using nothing but his bedding. When questioned he informed the guards that this took him roughly 11 hours to accomplish without a single CO noticing it. He didn't escape, like I said there is still the steel grating. He literally just did this as a ducky to the guards and he had the spare time. Thanks for tuning in to Reddit Streams. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for more videos. Share your views in the comments below.